All right, so there was another update for OS 5.7 that I forgot to make a mention of. Um, so there was a change made to uh, battle mode regarding if your blade is moving after you have a clash, um, it actually will still use uh, a clash effect. Um, and the reason for that is uh, particularly like glancing blows. Like if you have an object and you kind of glance against it as you're moving, um, it didn't make sense to have the lockup. Um, so this change was implemented for 5.7. Now, uh, SA22C's file actually has this fix in it. So if you had 5.6 and you took that copy he had put up on the open source group and put it in, um, it's the same as uh, my version in OS 5.7. Um, but so uh, original battle mode uh, got rid of Clash and replaced it with begin lockup and lockup. For 5.7, or like I said, uh, for uh, SA22C's file, um, you will get a Clash effect the traditional clash if your swing continues through the clash event um, and what that is is um, it, it, it's going to be harder to show just myself but um, if you're swinging and you glance against something but you continue your swing um, it will do a clash if you swing obviously you impact the blade full and kind of stops the blade or, revert, or reverses course on the blade it'll do the lockup so I'm going to try to demonstrate it um, but so you're swinging oops that wasn't good like that um, so if you swing and continue after the clash, so I'm hitting because um, I don't have another blade to hit against, but if you glanced against the blade but that swing continues with enough speed, it will just do clash. If your blade impacts and hits and slows down or stops, you'll get lock up until you pull away. Um, so it's only specific instances, but uh, some people did report it and I realized I didn't actually make mention of it anywhere except for the update notes on GitHub. Um, so it's, it's only if the blade swing continues after the clash event, um, that's when you'll get clash effect. Um, so swing through like that and you continue your swing after the hit, it will just do the regular clash like so. And it's really just about the speed after the clash. Um, if you, if, so if, you, if you're swinging really fast and you notice you're not able to get lock up, you do need to have that blade slow down. Um, the idea being, if you actually were locking up against the blade, that blade should come to a stop. Now, you're going to get that physical bounce, um, which, which you have that setting for the, uh, the lockup delay. Um, that's to help with that bounce. But if you have so much velocity that that swing continues past that impact point, it is going to do the clash for now. Um, and the idea is, it was really more for glancing blades. So there's a times where you're, you know, if you're battling an opponent, where you kind of glance blades together, but it, they, they both continue on, it would look weird if we had a lockup occur on that. So um, so glancing against blades, swing continuing after clash, will do clash, but blades coming to a slow down like so, so you're just kind of moving through, it's going to do clash, but then if you clash and slow down, you'll get your lockup. Um, so battle mode does have that change now in 5.7. As I noted in SA22C's file, it's if you used his file that he had for down, for uploading uh, separate and you put it on 5.6, it's the same thing. Um, and obviously now his prop file is part of 5.7. Um, but I did want to make note of it. A few people had already noticed it, and I just came to realize I didn't actually document it um, or make note of it elsewhere. So I'm going to update the documentation on GitHub and on my pages. Um, but essentially it's just if your swing continues after clash, it will do the clash effect. You do need your blade to obviously have a hard enough hit and slow down or stop in order to get the lock. So just a change. Um, it, it's, it's a fix improvement um, for 5.7. So um, hopefully you guys uh, enjoy it. So more to come.